You know, last week uh, I heard Mr. M wants to give us a presentation. Is Mr. A here? Are you ready? Where is Mr. A? Hang on, I look for it. Mr. A, are you here? It's not here yet, yeah. Hang on, hang on. I cannot find him. Oh, um, Satyarini, you raise hand. Do you want to talk? Hello. I, I noticed that you raised your hand. Do you want to talk? Uh, okay. Um, oh, okay. So then uh, while we are waiting for Mr. A, we move on to our, this one. Why my PPT doesn't want to move? Oh, here, yeah. And uh, do you still remember our homework? Um, these are the questions. How has your routine changed since the outbreak of the COVID? Does anyone want to answer these questions? I encourage you to try to practice, I mean, to talk and share your idea share your experience. So then you can practice to talk in English. And uh, which of these genes have been positive and which have been more difficult and uh, which genes has had the most impact on your day-to-day -day life? Anyone? Okay, then um, I start a little bit here. So this was just now, this is what happened when uh, the pandemic began. We, from this picture, we saw the elderly woman here. Uh, she was in bed and uh, the visitor cannot get into her house. So they just communicating like that. <clears throat> See, um, this one, the, the old lady is holding the hand like that. Uh, perhaps that's mobile phone. And then uh, this lady giving her a mobile phone to him. So this is what happened maybe the way of communicating these days, we need to have a distance. So that's, this is the change. And uh, which of these change has been positive? Is this positive or, um, or more difficult to communicate like, like this? So anyone want to participate to give the comment or something like that, I welcome all of you. Here, I took it from ProPublica. You can see the website address here. And uh, when you see the comment, Michael and Lori Spencer visit Judy Ships. So Lori's mother, who has tested, tested positive of the coronavirus. Okay, I noticed you. 
of something. Uh, yes, it's difficult from uh, Dr. Yuli. And then SND, yes, it is more difficult. And from Frederick, yeah, difficult because the social space. Yes, so this one is difficult, yeah, from we. Um, so next. What happened? Why I cannot uh, move next? Hang on. So here, <clears throat> this one is still also the same. So people are communicating from this different uh, room. Uh, yeah, from Pindo, <clears throat> yes, I feel very difficult. And uh, do you want to share how do you visit it, for example, your parent? <clears throat> or your <clears throat> elderly people relate relatives? Do you want to share? Do you also do like this? Or do you have something more creative way? From uh, Lily, danger for the older people communications directly with other people. Yes, correct. So that's why pe people avoid to contact directly it's other this day and then so here um seeing your doctor online you can see this one so the doctor i mean the patients can see the doctor online so this this is um what do you feel the benefit of it or do you feel is this this app this advantage or uh, it give more benefit for the patient's point of view. Anyone want to share? What is your opinion? Uh, this way, online seeing the doctor, is it benefiting or disadvantage? And uh, what, is, <clears throat> what is the reasons? Why is it um, positive? Why it is negative? Does anyone want to give comment? In my point of view, because I am not a doctor here, this is a very creative doctor who made it possible for uh, the patients to see them online. And um, you know, because cutting out the hassle, like I don't need to travel to their place and uh, I don't need to park. And, uh, you know, I don't need to sit in a waiting room. So yeah, I feel this is benefiting for me. Uh, from uh, Satyarini, it says, uh, she said plus, no need to go out from home, we can uh, consult directly, right? And uh, negative, we don't feel real human touch. Yeah, okay, that's a good point. And I think also it will be benefit for both sides though, for the doctor as well as the patients because as a doctor, we don't know if the patients bring the COVID virus or not. So I think it will be benefit for both sides. And uh, other than that, I feel video visits like this <clears throat> make it easier for the family as well. Family member, when they want to participate or to observe, when they want to listen what happened to their relative. Um, I saw here, yes, Dr. Yuli, for the patient that is difficult because sometimes we want to the doctor examine our body. Yeah, that's, that's right as well. And uh, from Dwi, telemedicine or teledentistry uh, perhaps makes our income as a medical teams reduce. Yeah, that's uh, the negative 
uh, impact ya yeah. yeah that's right so and from pindo i'm a dentist and i haven't practiced as usual i use um with tele dentistry wow i uh, i couldn't imagine if uh, if i ha i've got a hole on my teeth and then I'm unable to visit my dentist. That will be the problem. Actually, it was my uh, real experience. I think in April, I my tooth pain. I think I got the hole here, and I got really difficulties to find a dentist that open because my uh, I have a dentist in in Belesa, you know. Belesa Shopping Arcade, and it was closed at that time. Okay, so, and then, wow, there are, I didn't know that there are many doctors here. So, and then from Christian, the doctor must examine the patient's immediately conditions. What, what do you mean? Um, yeah, maybe this is for not serious illness, uh, so I think they can just communicate <clears throat> with the video conference or something like that. From SND, and the fill for consult more cheap around 30 to 100K if we use the app to consult. Oh, I see, I, I didn't know here, um, I mean, uh, Luckily, I don't need to consult to the doctor. That's why I don't know what is the app. Um, and do you want to share which app that we can consult uh, Consult to the doctor here? Oh, okay, we use like Hello Doc. Oh, right. I didn't know about this one. Thank you for sharing. So this is a very useful information, Sandy. Mm. So I think, so this is the routine that has changed since the uh, pandemic, yeah? And, uh, and then, which, uh, is this make you difficult? I don't think so, yeah? And then, uh, which change that have most impact? I think this is, uh, we, we did that and then, now here, shopping, online shopping. So does anyone uh, do the grocery shopping online? And uh, here, what are three benefits and disadvantages of grocery shopping uh, online? So does anyone want to share uh, the three benefits I mean, not only three, yeah, maybe more. And uh, you know why? Why online shopping can help you or something like that? So my experience for grocery shopping I always just uh, buy it by myself. I just went to the supermarket down here. So from Frederick, easy, unlimited product. Yes, we can see um, maybe in Tokopedia or I don't know, Lazada, JDID. So from grocery shopping, I actually, I like to be there by myself, but sometimes if I just need, for example, my soft, uh, my handphone soft case casing, then I search it in a online shop. Anyone want to share your experience? Or you just, um, there is no change, uh, you still, do the, the offline offline shopping. From Ye Yen, we stay at home and product will be delivered. Yes, thank you. And uh, 
Can you come up what is the benefit of the grocery uh, shopping online? From Wiriani Rose. Yes, miss, it makes me more difficult, especially due to my kids' lesson. I have to become a teacher too at home. Oh, okay. And then uh, Frederick Kia, the cons, if shopping from the world wide shopping website must pay cups, custom tax uh, as known as Beachukai. Yeah, that's right. And then from Dwi, because very easy and useful, Miss, we just open the app, choose what I want, and buy it. And we uh, are just stay at home. Uh -huh. From, uh, hang on, it's going up. From uh, Suwaib uh, Muhammad said that it makes it uh, very easy for customers to buy goods, right? And then from Pindo, I prefer offline than online. And um, why do you prefer offline? And it's about shopping fee, said Frederick. And Tofik Susanto make me easy to find all product I want that's so simple shopping for me but the product sometimes make me disappointed because I didn't see it directly right I agree with you because you cannot touch it you cannot hand pick that's uh, that's true and then from Lily Mulyani we can choose the price or oh, right that's from online yeah perhaps you talk about online yeah and then uh, Ron Nauli, online shopping, very exciting and very easy, nice. And then uh, why, why it is uh, very exciting. And mm, from Miss Novi Rianti, the price is cheaper than offline store. Uh -huh. Because we don't need to pay the tax really. And everything we need is always there in online shop. I see, uh, that's what product. Um, and then from Christine, can buy at promo price. Uh, this is online, yeah, save times and don't get, don't get infected by the virus, especially COVID-19. From Yeyen, many product as our best choice. And then from uh, Satyarini, I become more aware of new technology, right? and learn from the kids and friends how to operate. I was lazy and got tech. I need to leave, con to leave uh, comfort zones, okay. So, right, yeah. So I feel uh, the benefit of the grocery, I mean, uh, online shopping, right? I can see the various of, uh, variety of, the products and also I don't need to drive or to queue to to pay to the to the counter so and uh, we can also stick to our grocery list because when we, I'm going to the shopping center sometimes when I saw wow that's a yummy snack so those snacks that uh, I, I don't need it sometimes I I just pick it, I just buy it. Okay, so from Miria Wiriyani said that sometimes the quality of the product sent to us not as it seemed in the picture. Yes, uh, I have the experience of this one, especially with the clothes. Uh, I experienced to buy uh, clothes from online it seems good because we cannot try. Um, that's why, although I just the size that I want it, when it is arrived, sometimes it, does, it doesn't match with our body. Maybe because I'm too skinny, that's why. And also, but I satisfied with the quality of the materials though. It's only just the the size, it doesn't match me well. Okay. So, 
Does anyone want to share what is the benefit for us? This is the benefit for us um, of online shopping, yeah? Uh, we can stick to our grocery shopping list and then uh, cut the grocery time. So we get a uh, time saving. Also, we don't need to walk to the shop. And from Asandi, the pro is the price more competitive. We can comp compare from one shop to another shop. Yes, correct. And then the cons, sometimes there are a naughty seller. So the product we buy not match in the picture. Uh -huh. Luckily, we can complain to the online platform. The naughty seller will get punishment, right? Yeah. And uh, other than that, um, I sometimes I do like both though on online shopping and offline offline shop, shopping. Those of them has a pro and cons. So in in uh, grocery shopping online, so we we I mean I I can keep track of uh, my budget, and uh, but sometimes I know it can be more expensive due to the uh, additional cost for packaging for usage and the delivery cost fee, for example, like that, and we cannot handpick them. So for example, if I want to buy uh, fruits, sometimes I, I want to handpick, you know, just the, the better quality, the more ripe, <clears throat> like that. Okay, so from Susi, I don't like to shop online because I can't choose, uh-huh, and don't know how is the quality, but it is my friend always bought thing online. The benefit is she no need to go out, save her time, and no need to queue for paying right, yes, you see, like that. So this is the impact for us. How about the, the owner of the, for example, the shopping center or the, the mall? So what is the benefit and disadvantage for them? But she's always get the wrong size. What do you mean? Uh, the last sentence you mean? You you mean for buying clothes or something, Susie? Um, maybe yes, yeah. Okay. So, what is the impact of the owner, for example? I saw some shops in the shopping center, they are closed. Maybe temporary, maybe permanently. I don't know yet because um, I live in the apartment and then below my apartment is a shopping center. And um, of course the supermarket is always crowded, I mean, um, many people than the other shops, something like the hairdresser uh, shop and uh, what the clothes shop is also, um, some of them still closed and some restaurant as well, still closed. So maybe this is not good for the offline, the owner of the shops, because um, less people are coming to buy in their shop. If they didn't prepare, they didn't change um, the way that they need to sell, I think they will suffer a lot. Okay, so that's the disadvantage for the, the owner of the Shop. Okay. So, how does uh, online shopping change your life? From Christian, finance co financial conditions decrease, consumer purchasing power decrease. Yes. Right now, because um, many people 
jobless or is their income are decrease. That's why the purchasing power also decrease. So the people like to save more than to spend more. Right, Christine, that's a good point. And so, yeah. From Prima Dani, online shopping can enhance new merchant entrepreneur. That's right. And this is my uh, own experience because right now my students are decreased too because their parents got the impact. They have like a boutique, you know, batik boutique. Um, they have like, what is it? They have shops and many, they have factory to, to make clothes. They got uh, the most impact. That's why they are unable to, to pay for the tuition fee anymore. And not only him, I, I also have um, many students that they got impact. That's why my students also getting less and less. Uh, so that's the impact, yeah? Okay, so next. Oh, here. We keep in touch uh, in Zoom and video conference like what we do today. So what is the benefit and the disadvantage of this one? Of course, it is benefiting for us perhaps, yeah? Me as a teacher and you, also some of you are also the teacher. So does anyone want to share here? Does anyone have like a, a room for seminars or something like that? I know now uh, the seminar are conducting online too. Anyone want to share? Is this a positive impact or not? I think this is a positive impact, yeah. And um, you know, before the pandemic began, uh, we, my groups, we we want to conduct like a big seminar. We we wanted to rent the, a, a special ballroom perhaps like that. But we didn't know that uh, this virus happened like this. So we need to cancel. I think uh, the seminar, uh, the owner of that building, I think it's also suffer a lot there yeah, because uh, now we have this uh, facility like Zoom. And then from SND, the advantage, um, efficiency of distance, time, and cost. Normally, we usually go to the some place for meeting, right? Exactly. So <clears throat> it's time saving too for us. But for the owner of the seminar rooms, I think it's really bad. And right now, even the funeral, I attend the funeral on online though. My uh, my cousin's dad died in Adelaide, so we attend we attend the funeral online. And even the wedding, I have the relative. Mm, he he has. She has a wedding in Surabaya, so I attend the, the wedding ceremony online too. Okay, so from Christian, get more knowledge and save time. Yes, right. Okay, so does anyone experience 
to attend the what kind of ceremony uh, during this COVID-19. From Viriani Rose uh, said that I prefer face-to-face -face meeting than visual meeting via Zoom or other applications. It isn't satisfying. Mm. Right, yeah. Um, I, I can feel, um, why do you say this? Because, you know, in Zoom, sometimes people are shy to, to share the, the video. They just turn it off the video. Like me as a participant, some, I always like, I always like to make my video off. So that's why I understand why you, you feel hesitate to make your video on. So yeah, that's, that's right. And uh, the negative impacts are my electricity bill increased more than 100%, wow. And the internet quota increased more than 300%. All right, yeah, 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 because you stay at home more than usual, so your electricity bills increase, yeah? Right. So I suggest you to maybe to buy the unlimited uh, quota or something like that, yeah? And uh, that's nice hearing. From Lily Moyani, we can talk with our friend anytime we want without worry how we go the place. Negatively, negative for everyone if we come back. Oh, so that's the negative point, yeah? For those people who are gap tech. Okay. From Ronaldi, Zoom meeting, very good. It makes easy to do our class meeting now. Yes. If I can choose as a teacher, I really enjoy the Zoom meeting, but I found difficulty for uh, teaching my students that are ADAD, I mean ADD or ADHD, you know, ADD attention deficit disorder and the attention hyperactive disorder. That's why um, I cannot teach them during this time. And uh, from Dwi Ariani, during pandemic, I'm doing my lectures all with Zoom and Microsoft Teams. Zoom is free with 40 minutes conference. So I have to talk faster than usual, right? And Microsoft Team uh, is free with no limit time, but I have to buy new laptop and increase uh, my internet speed connections because it's more complicated app than so I see. From Wahyuni Lestari, the positive impact are I can get knowledge not only from Jakarta but also from other country and all are free, right? Wow, nice, yeah? And uh, Frederick Chia said that Sometimes online learning is a bit complicated. It requires self-discipline. Right, that's right. Mm. But I, I try to understand this sentence for a bit because uh, for me, I don't feel it is complicated because I prefer online rather than I spend time driving in a traffic jam. You know, the traffic in Jakarta is very nasty before, but now it's getting better. And uh, from SND, disadvantage, in my opinion, because we use internet, internet, some of people have a trouble with connections and not everyone know how to use the apps, right? Yeah, that's also a problem for those, yeah? And then from Taufik Susanto, the advantage is make us easy to communicate to communicate for all people and share a lot of information, not just one or two people, but for all people in Indonesia, even in the world. Yeah, so we are united. 
with in in Zoom. So from uh, long distance, like in, in another country or in other islands, we can communicate to its other, right? So I think with Zoom we can unite it. And the negative is uh, not all people have a mobile phone like us, right? So it makes some people not up to date about information, right? So this is the sad point, yeah? So some people, they are still cannot catch, catch up with technology. And uh, from Frederick Chia, communicate first priority, I need mentoring. Yes, I also need mentoring. I still also learning in many, oh yeah, last time Frederick Chia told me very interesting uh, subject that he learned. He learned about metaphysics, uh, feng shui, and uh, many other stuff that are, I feel in common because I feel really difficulty to find a teacher who are able to teach a metaphysics. That's really rare. And then from Pindo Bilowo uh, said that I think some meeting is better than other because it is very complicated. What, what do you mean? I think some meeting is better than other because it is complicated. So which one is complicated? Uh, Google Meet or Skype? Uh, I don't really get this sentence from Ye Yen. Extensive knowledge, everyone is excited in learning app. Have a lot of friends, right? Yes, that's, I agree with this because with this Zoom, we can meet someone that we don't know before. I can meet you here. So that's a good point, yeah? And then from Satyarini, Difficulties be probably come from poor family who don't have money for proper handphone and buy quota, right? Yeah. So how to deal with this? For your information, I teach an open practice in all. Oh, so Satya Rini also, um, you have the ability to do the metaphysic as well, yeah? Right. So this is very not common, not common uh, ability, you know, for a teacher. Many people are able to teach like me and doctor are common, common area. So this metaphysics, uh, uh, yeah, this is in common for me. Yes, I'm an energy or chi healer. Oh, wow. Nice to hear that. It is, I feel really interesting in feng shui and um, those kind of metaphysics. So maybe next time, if you are interested in metaphysics, I welcome uh, Satyarini and uh, Frederick yeah, to talk. If we come to that subject, do you agree? Okay, so next, oh, okay, agree, yeah. Oh, from Dwi, Dwi Ariani, it is very difficult to dental students catch up the skill improvement by online learning. I have to be creative to replace the patients with only tutorial. All right, yeah, I, um, Right, yes. So are you a dentist, Dwi? Or are you a dental student? Okay. So Mr. A, are you here? I still remember that you said that you want to talk about something that we discussed last week. 
Okay, from uh, Georgi Gorgi, how, how to pronounce your name? As a student, I think it's diff different when we study in class and when we study in the internet like Zoom. I prefer to study in class. All right, Gor Gor G Gorgi. And uh, okay. Me, I also prefer study in class because we, we can interact, we can joke around, we can like face to face uh, to talk with them, yeah? Or, or G, oh, okay. Or G, okay. Thank you. And from Sylvia Sasmita said that I think learning by Zoom is so simple. Don't need to go anywhere. Don't need to make makeup. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't need to put on your makeup, yeah. <laughs> and then you just like turn it off the video, like me as a participant. But right now, me as a facilitator guide, I cannot turn on turn off my video. Right. That's really um, satisfaction. I mean, yeah. I know why right now. I, I understand why my pembina, you know, she always encouraged us to open the video. Now I know how her feeling. It, it's something like I feel talking to myself with my laptop. <laughs> okay, so this is from uh, Sylvia Sasmita. I think learning by, oh, it's still already, I already uh, read that. Right, okay. So, and uh, who's the lecturer here? Do you feel also the same when you lecturing your uh, students, university students, do you ask them to open their video on or you just don't care? Um, just share. So here from Wahyuni Lestari, the students become lazy to learn. If I give homework to them, they only take it from the internet. And when it is exam, they like to cheat. All right, yeah. And from Wiryani Rosjen, haha, I can imagine that talking to our, ourselves to the laptop. <laughs> right, and then from Novi, in this pandemic, I, I teach online in school and for my private course too. The positive thing, I don't need to drive from my house to school and from school to my private uh, student's house. I can save time and I have more time to do the other thing in my house before my class start. But negatively, it's, it is very hard to see whether my students understand the topic or not especially in math subject. And the most positive impact is so many kind people to give a free class like during the pandemic. And I'm so grateful, right, Novi? So, so we are in the same boat. That's, yeah, especially, you know, teaching math, sometimes it is very difficult to teach like um, when you teach the gradient or the hyperbola, hyperbole like that, because I need to draw that one as well. So I can imagine. And from Irene Salin, I think everything in this life, there is always positive as a negative part. It all depends on the situations, right? Yeah there is always yeah, positive and a negative part because this is a big change and I don't know until when this pandemic will end. From Son, I think it's also difficult for catch up a lot of difficult subjects like math, physics, accounting, and the other subjects that need calculations, right? Yeah. You know, especially when I teach about the angle, about that angle. So 
it is very difficult to teach in a Zoom. Sometimes I need to use two devices, one laptop and then one um, smartphone. So one, I, I hold it like this and then draw. So I use, yeah, need more gadgets to, to teach math like that, yeah. Okay, so from Dwi, I use games applications such as Kahoot, uh -huh, right. And uh, Mentimeter for quizzes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of my students, they, they need to do Kahoot too. My students are addicted to them, right? They enjoy, right? And then they are really enjoy my lecturers in dentistry subject. Wow, excellent. So as a teacher, we need to be creative as well, yeah? And then Irfan Rashid, Say that assignment every time, every kind of assignment. So uh, I was free and actual free time. You are lying. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're lying on your bed. The phone shows the notifications, and you have a new assignment. Ma'am, it's eight in the evening. Oh, what do you mean? Assignments every time, every kind of assignment, so it was free. An, act, an actual free time. Mm. Oh, yeah, actually, we can do Zoom on bed too. Sometimes I saw it happen when, you know, my, uh, my guide or my mentor sometimes will uh, see us as to open the video and then when she noticed someone are lie, lying on the bed he said get up <laughs> okay so that's very i i enjoy to hear uh, your share so this is still the same uh, online online school and anything else that um, we haven't discussed because uh, just this is in, in, in my mind right now. So anything else that I haven't picked up or I haven't shared in this presentations, maybe I slip or which aspect, if you can came up with something that I haven't noticed it here. Okay, so if uh, you, you don't have any point, then we go here. So what are the impact of uh, changes during the pandemic? Because just now we noticed there are some, imp there are many changes during the pandemic. Now, what are the impacts of change? And which business sector got the most impact in the pandemic? I think I forgot to put the question mark here. Does anyone want to answer these questions? We know the changes, right? The impact is just like, uh, you know, the owner of the industry, perhaps the owner of the factory, yeah? Oh, from SND, the impact changes the economy globally like inflation. Right, um, right now I feel still um, because we are drastically changed. So many people try to save their money. That's, that's why we don't feel uh, the inflation yet, but perhaps next year we will really feel the inflations 
Does anyone know what is inflation? When the price goes up, yeah, so the value of the money is goes down. What do you mean one of the TH? Oh, one of the impact is Indonesia will be in recess, recession soon. That's right. Because right now, many people are unemployed and many businesses are closed down. Yeah, from SND. Yes, that's a good point. This, the traveling sector got most impact missed, right? So it's something like the flight and the touristic place, something like Bali and uh, yeah, something like that, right? So yeah, this is a good point, Sun. The impact Indonesia will be in a recession soon. So how do you uh, cope with this? How do you pre prepare? to face the recession soon. And then from Marliana, there are seven, several companies that are closed and employees are laid off. Yeah, right. And then from uh, Steffi, yeah, but in positive, we may need time with family. Right, yeah. So, uh, the impact, the positive impact, it, we, we have more time with our family. Exactly. Because we don't need to, to spend our time on the, on the way, on the, on the street. Right. From Asari, Musdalifa said that we spend more our time at home. Yeah. So we have more time, right? Yeah, so, so that's the, the impact yeah, from this pandemic. Um, so this is actually, I like to just now who got uh, here from Sun. How do you prepare yourself to face the recession soon? You know when the recessions and there will be inflations maybe next year. The price of the food will be rising uh, sharply. So how do you prepare for this? Me, myself, recession itu resesi. <laughs> uh, you know, economy recessi. We already experienced this uh, recessions during 1998 you know when the dollar i uh, i know that maybe one dollar at that time was below 2000 rupees and then goes up until maybe around 17000 rupees for a dollar that's because of soros and then from Taufik Susanto, I think the impact during the pandemic is we can get together, but we can get together with my family for a long time, right? The business sector got the impact is hotel and traveling, right? And I miss traveling because it's make me uh, to refreshment, hey, hey. Okay, from Dwi, I feel that the bank deposit interest reduced from 5.5% to become 3.5% as a perimeter that our economic nation still in a good condition, right? I prepare more cash money. Okay, from uh, Irene, yeah, let's talk about the positive impact that make us happy. Hey, hey, hey. Do not think all about the negative. We will live uh, in sadness. From Frederick Chia, recessions mean a difficult time for the country of, uh, uh, I mean, for the economy of a country. When there is less trade and industrial activity than usual, and more people are unemployed. Right, thank you for being supportive, Frederick. So I really appreciate when you are um, help each other, yeah, like this. So, and then from Ye Yen, 
the impacts uh, are understanding real life is praise to the Lord, right? And give and can give what we have to another one who need strengthen our family relative. Uh, I mean relationship, right, Jayen? So we have more time to pray, yeah? And then from Steffi, oh, thank you. And then SND, people usually more prepare cash, gold better than saving their money in the bank. I agree with that. So we need to buy more gold for hedging. Saving money in the bank, uh, some of Inverso also believe still saving invest their money in the same bank, like invest their money in a bond fund. Yes, that's right. So. Me, uh, myself, I already prepared some gold to buy, to hedge rupees because I believe the price of the gold will be rise, rising. Okay, from uh, Yayan, yeah, yeah. in business, fast and develop, <laughs> right. And Novi, aviation industry was the most impacted, I see. My brother worked in the airport and he has B. Mm. What does it mean? Mm. Okay, we read here from Christians back to the Stone Age. Yeah, so limited money, not familiar with relative or friends, cannot vocations really. Um. Yeah, they said there will be a global reset. I. I um, knew this information about the global research when it was 2017. I did not realize that it will be um, today. It's happened, uh, really happened now. And uh, from Novi, he has been cut from the economic hook. He, who is he? Oh, your your itu ya, your brother. He has been cut from the company and so many employees too. I see, right? I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. So now, in the travel industry and also the flight industry, they suffered a lot. And also for the online ticketing, I think they also suffered. And uh, from Sun, recession is when the rate of economic growth is minus more than two quarterly, right? So this is more detail. Wow, you are really supportive. I think uh, we need to come up with uh, the next topic. What, what is your idea? What is for our next week topic? So who want to present next, next week? Does anyone want, want to give a presentation? Or any other opinion? Or then uh, just tell me your idea, how, how should this pandemic end? When um, will this pandemic end, yeah? Okay, from Ye Yen, we read this one first. Declining in Bali tourism income has had a major impact on the economy of other religions. It, uh, of other regions, right, yeah. Yeah, times is up, Patrick. So then um, next week, we we discuss about how this pandemic end, yeah? And how and when. I know no one know. So from Taufik, I think we can share why you learn English and share your experience about English. Yes, this is nice. Nice input, Taufik, thank you. And why English so important uh, for our life? Yes, 
uh, this is really uh, a very good input. So, um, okay. So maybe next next week, Taufik, you can share uh, why you you learn English, yeah. So, okay, we share our experience. This is a nice topic too. Okay, so I think enough for today. So have a blessed weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Okay, thank you, Miss. Thank you also, Tony. Yeah. Oke, okay. ya sahabat kelas semuanya kita akhiri kelas kita hari ini sampai di sini. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Madam. Miss. Thank you, everyone. See you next week. Bye. See you, bye. Miss. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.